This is a report about a drug that's devastating the British Somali community. I have been there, I, I know it. Cut is absolutely categorically destroying the Somali community in the UK. This is CAT. It's chewed mainly by people from East Africa and it's a psychoactive stimulant drug with similar health risks and effects as amphetamines. It's illegal in much of Europe and the United States, but this plant-based drug is still legal here in the UK. In fact, it's imported here on a huge scale and it's chewed by up to 100,000 people. Some say that it's dangerous and the government is contemplating whether or not it should be banned. But the Somali community here in the UK is divided on whether to back such a decision. We've come to Brent in West London. A large Somali community live here and on this innocuous street we found users like Mohammed. He spoke to us about the habit but wanted to conceal his identity. There's nothing wrong with cards. That doesn't make you lose your mind. If it is banned, then that of Somalis might use class A drugs. But there are Somalis who think CAT is a big problem. Take Mr. Abuka Awale, who is now off the drug. Former addict, he is now campaigning on the streets of London to get CAT banned. Unfortunately, because CAT was legal, I thought it must be safe. I thought, you know, it must be okay. So I started chewing it slowly. My whole way of life became, you know, chewing. My turning around came when 2004, I was unfortunately chewing with another cat addict who was in a even worse situation, he was suffering in psychosis and he was carrying a knife, somehow he was upset and for some reason he started to attack me and stopped me five times. There I was end up in the Middlesex hospital chewing chat in my mouth, my face, my everything was telling a clear message that I was a you know, horrible victor and nearly lost my life. A recent survey by the government shows that half Somalis interviewed want cats banned and another half use the drug. But whatever the government decides to do, it's clear that the Somali community is deeply divided. Shazad Chowdhury, reporting for Levante, London.